All right, just got home from vacation. There's nothing better than showing up back home and seeing a set of 29 sitting on your porch. Awesome. This is from Behringer. All right guys, here's a little bit of an update. Just got back from another family trip. It's been really difficult to get anything done this summer. Uh, when the kids are out of school, I got work going on. When I'm off work, I wanna spend time with them and the family. So we've been doing a lot of fun family trips and uh, stuff like that. So the other huge barrier to working in here, you can see I'm probably sweating right now, is that guy right there. So that's inside my garage. Now granted, I just got home and so I didn't have the AC unit on, but even with that on, it's about 100 degrees out right now outside. Maybe get it down to 80 or so in here. So it's going to be a really early morning working or late night just because of the heat. Um, but I was very excited. As you saw from the other clip, came home, set a 29 inch Alaska Airstreak Bush Tire 2s right there. Woohoo! On the porch. Uh, what a great way to come home. And sitting right next to it, Behringer box. So the brakes are finally here. Um, these are actually going to go on the Model 5. I'm going to test them first so I can um, make sure that they are worth putting on the, the new plane. Um, those will be run at Reno. So Behringer system, hopefully, if I get it all working, should be uh, ready to race at Reno and prove that that is a stellar brake system. Also got a box to open up over here. That should be a uh, muffler for the engine, GSXR engine, uh, GSXR 1000 muffler off of a motorcycle, 2017. And uh, two weeks ago, I feel like I'm neglecting it, but this beauty showed up from Teal Jenkins. So we've got the gearbox. Um, here's all the directions on how to put it together. A nice schematic. Got uh, all the extra parts, man, another gear here. So the parts are coming in. I wish I had more time to, to put my hands on it. So I did just get back from Tahoe uh, on a family vacation. And on the way back, I was able to stop in at Reno Stead Airport and meet with Ken Brown, who has an amazing shop at his hangar. And he's putting together a jig for the Apex engine mounts that will allow him to do the Kit Fox 4, 5, 6, 7, uh, Rans S7, and pretty much any engine, uh, as long as he has the bolt pattern for the frame, he can move this jig around and use the basic tubes that are going to connect to the uh, engine and work out how it's going to connect to the airframe. And so he cut me this piece of uh, cardboard on a laser cutter and it has the bolt spacing for the Model 4, which these are the holes are here, 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 there, and down here. And he already has that those measurements in, so we wanted to see if it, if it matches the 7. It doesn't. I think we probably knew that going into it. There's a couple millimeters wider on the top ones, and then these outer portion, outer mount points are way off. So I'll get him those measurements so he can have the starting point for how the engine mount is going to mount to the frame. Then we got to determine some other things like the offset angle for for the different the torque factors, p factors, stuff like that. So um, we're working on that engine mount. It's going to be in the computer, which is going to be awesome. He's going to stress test it um, with a uh, another piece of equipment he built that's going to put it to a 10 G load, and then he's got another system on it that allows it to give it a vibration test. We can just turn it on, let it vibrate for a while, and see how it holds up. So that's the updates from the trip. Also got to, <laughs> really lucky. Met up with Kevin Sloan from FlyTruckyTahoe.com, and went out on a float plane flight. Oh man, that was fun. Hopefully, I don't get too too hooked on that because I may have to put some floats on one of these. But if you guys are ever in Truckee or you want to get a float plane rating, check out uh, Kevin at uh, FlyTruckyTahoe.com absolutely amazing great area to go play around too they got lakes everywhere so let me get this box open all right guys super excited the behringer brakes are here 
gonna go ahead and check through what we got. This is gonna go on the Model 5. I'm gonna test them out on the Model 5 and then uh, hopefully get back to you with a report on how amazing they are. I'm also gonna weigh everything and give you a comparison to the uh, Grove system on how much weight savings you're gonna have with this system. Um, just checking from the box, I mean that is the whole brake system and the wheels. And it doesn't weigh much. So I'll get your weights on that. Um, and then um, I'll also uh, be getting another set for the 7 if everything works out real good. So these will be used on the 5. Main reason I'm doing that is because the Reno Air Races are coming up in just about a month and a half. And uh, I need better braking power to be competitive. Uh, I also need a bigger engine to be competitive, but that's not going to happen this year. So um, these will go on the Model 5 and I will hopefully get a little video of how that all goes together and show you guys how amazing these, these brakes are. So let me get started by opening it up and see what we got in here. Let's see the wheels. I wonder if the wheels are already on the tires. I didn't have any wheels in the box, so I'm going to look and see if they're in here. Mounted up on the wheels. Alright, how sick are those? Wow. Talk about some bling, huh? Those look great. Brake sit, disc sits right in there and floats. Big old bearing on the back side. Smaller bearing for the tapered, tapered axle on the inside. Man, I'm excited. I'm having to dry the sweat off quite hot. So this is the, <laughs> so awesome. This will slide right over the axle. Dual calipers and this is the brake disc and this will go right into the wheel. Already connected and mounted up for me. So all I have to do is put that in place and let me go grab one of the uh, brake or uh, gear legs. Now I'm hoping that everything is the right size because I spoke with Tony at TK1 Racing who made these axles and it was supposed to just slide right on so boom all right guys there it is the Behringer brakes kit for the kit fox you know your parts in here brake lines your anti-lock brake block master cylinders parking brake reservoirs and double calipers already mounted up that is awesome you even have the crossover tube mounted already. You got your bleed in, brake line coming in there. And these puppies, it you know, drops into these slots in the wheel, so it is floating. You can float up and down, and pop it back in there, and then boom, it'll spin like that. Or the tire will be spinning, that'll be stationary. But there's your system right there. I mean, look at the clearance, it's just fantastic. It's such a tight and well-engineered system. I'm really excited about testing it out and seeing the performance. I think with the double caliper system, there'll just be no comparison to the, to the Grove. On the Grove, I've got the single caliper double piston, but it's not a double puck. A lot of people say, do you have the double puck brakes? They're not really double puck. It's a longer puck, but it's double piston. So these are double piston twice. That is awesome. So these suckers should really give me some braking power. And you can see there, it's kind of a double pad, but they're connected. So in essence, you have four contact points. You got two on each caliper. So that is fantastic. I'm very excited about the system. It is super hot in here. We got one more thing to unpack to show you guys um, for the engines. Let me get that out. I had one other box waiting for me when I got home. This was a eBay purchase. Now, some of you might be following along on the um, Kitbox owner page, uh, or actually maybe it's the Yamaha conversion. Yamaha conversion page on Facebook. Yamaha engine conversion. I can't remember what the name is of the page is, but anyway. We had a discussion about what the best muffler is for this application. Um, 
I'm willing to give up even a couple, just a couple, horsepower as long as it makes it quieter inside the cockpit. Because that's one of the concerns I have with this engine is running around at 8,000 RPM is the noise. So I already spent enough time around turbines. I don't need to spend time, you know, damaging the hearing more. So this is a GSXR 1000 motorcycle muffler, stock one, off of a 2007. Now there's others out there who have been using this set up successfully. So let's see what it looks like here. This one's supposedly brand new, never been on a bike. That is believable. It is seriously nice inside. Okay. So, $100 off of eBay. So if you're looking to buy one of these, um, don't spend more than $100. Let me grab real quick the scale and we will weigh this puppy. It's called 6.8. 6.8 pounds. Well, that's a lot more than I thought it would be on a motorcycle, but you know, some of the past motorcycles I've had, the mufflers are like 15 pounds. So overall, six pounds to get the noise down. As long as it doesn't hurt the performance, it's not supposed to because it's designed to have some back pressure. There you go. So that'll mount up to the, um, the cabane on the landing gear. That's where I'll put that. So. Muffler's in, brakes are in, the prop is next, so waiting for that one to show up. Back to work. All right guys, let's wrap it up here. Uh, hopefully I'll get my hands on this airplane and get to get some more work done here in the next month or two. Also got a lot of work to do on the Kit Box 5 to get it ready for the Reno Air Races. That has to take priority. So I'm just going to leave you here with uh, some footage of my buddies Jake and Dustin landing on a really, really small island and the Sacramento River a couple weekends ago. A little too small for me to try, uh, so I looked a little bit further down river and found one about twice that size. So here's the Kid Fox landing on that one. So enjoy this clip and stay tuned for the next video.